Welcome to our mathematics class from Afghan Turk Marif High School. Hi everyone. Hi everyone, this is Abdul Karim Wahaj, one of the mathematics lecturer in these high schools. Today we are going to talk about what is logarithm and logarithmic functions. As we know, as we know, uh, our mathematics studies uh, has included up to now linear, quadratic, and trigonometric functions. Today we are going to talk about two new types of functions. One is exponential function and the other is logarithmic functions. For this reason, in this video series, we are going to talk about, especially about logarithmic functions with all its types and its properties. Okay, let's start. To know what is a logarithmic function, first we must know what is exponential functions. As we know, these two functions are inverses of each other. Look, exponential function is a function of the forms it defines from real numbers to the positive real numbers, like if x is equal with a to the power of x. Here, there is a condition, this relation shows an exponential function is this. Look, a is the base of this function. And especially we must, we must focus on the basis when a relation talks and exponential functions. For example, here to, be, to have an exponential functions, a must be bigger than zero. And also, a must not be number one. It's called exponential functions with the base a. There, students, when you, when you have, when you, when you have an, a relation like this, and this defines an exponential functions, it must have the conditions like e is bigger than zero and not be number one. Let's check some examples. Determine which functions are exponential functions. The number a, if is defined from real number to the positive real numbers, and define if, x is, if of x is equal with 2 to the power of x. First, first, we must check the base here. Base is equal with number 2, and in simultaneously is bigger than number 1. And it, 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 is, it is bigger than number 1. This is okay for the exponential functions, because the base is not equal with number 1, and also it is bigger than 0. This is one of the exponential functions. And the second one, if is defined from real number to the positive real numbers, with the functions f of x is equal to 3 to the power of x minus 1. Here, let me check to base. Base is equal with number 3 and is bigger than 0 and not equal with the number 1. For this reason, this is okay for the condition of exponential functions. And also, this is true for the definition of exponential functions. And let me check the number chain. It's defined from real number to the positive real numbers. And this part is true for the definition of the exponential functions. And here, if of x is equal with negative 2 to the power of x plus 1. Look, the base is equal with the number 2. And this is less than 0. And this is enough for not be an exponential function. For this reason, the third one cannot be an exponential function. And the fourth one, if is defined from integer numbers to the positive real numbers. When you look this part, this is not uh, started from uh, real numbers. This is not true for the definition of exponential functions. For this reason, this is not necessary to check this part. For this reason, this is not this is not a exponential function. Let me check. Let me check the e1. If is defined from integer numbers to the positive real numbers. For this reason, if of x is equal with five to the power of x minus one, x minus five is not show as an exponential function. And the end one. If is defined from real numbers to the positive real numbers. And if, if, if of x is equal with x to the power of 3. For this reason, okay, this is not also true for the exponential functions because, because base is equal with n variable. In exponential functions, pay attention, if the base is if, if, if base is with an a variable on the term, it is it is not an exponential function. For this reason, this is not an exponential function. As we said, one, two. Two of them are exponential functions, and, uh, n and the others are not used as an exponential functions. Okay, now we reach the logarithmic form. 
this is a big new idea in mathematics. As we said, the two functions we are go going to target this here also, the, also both in inverses of each other. Look, for every a is bigger than zero and it is not equal with the number one, the functions of the form is defined from positive real numbers to real numbers with the function with the relation f of x is equal with the log x to the base a is called what? Logarithmic functions. Okay, how we can change the unexponential expressions or exponential functions into logarithmic form? If we have the functions y is equal e to the power of x or if we have an exponential expressions like y is equal with e to the power of x if we want to change this one into logarithmic form we will write x is equal with log of y to the base a okay there are some conditions to have to be uh, and if, if there are some conditions or some existing conditions if it choose a logarithmic functions. Okay, if of x is equal with log x to the base of a here, it must be x and e is e must be bigger than zero. And also simultaneously e must not be number one. Let me check some examples how we can invert invert an exponential form into logarithmic form. Okay, write the exponential equalities into logarithmic form. The first one 2 to the power of x is equal with number 3. How we can change this one into logarithmic form? As we said here, y is equal with e to the power of x, x is equal with log of y to the base a. Okay, log of number 3 to the base 2 is equal with the number x. And the second one, log of number 5 to the base 3 is equal with the number x. Changing an exponential expression into logarithmic form is this, finding the exponent and the exponential form. Okay, the number three, log of number three to the base five is equal with x plus one. Here, x is equal with log of three to the base of five is e plus minus one is equal with number x. And also, how we can change this one? Log of 3 over 2 to the base of 2 is equal with the number x. And also, this one, log of number 1 to the base 5 is equal with 0. It means log of number 1 to every base is equal with 0. And we will uh, talk about the properties in the, in the next videos also. Log of... 1 over 9 to the base 3 is equal with negative 1. And in this equations, both sides we have the variable x's. To finding the logarithmic form, we will solve 2 to the power of x equal with 3 to the power of x times 9. And we will divide both sides with the 3 to the power of x. Here, we will have 2 over 3 to the power of x is equal with 9. And now we change it into logarithmic form. Log of 9 to the base of 2 over 3 is equal with the number x. Okay, dear students, these are the methods how we can change an exponential form into logarithmic form. Pay attention, if you have any or if you face any problems in these topics of this video, you can comment us on Afghan Turkmar School's channel. Thank you for watching.